Hello YouTube, this is your goalie from That's the Never, and welcome to the next part of my 3D printer tutorial. In this video, we're going to be using a program called MC Edit. You can just search on Google or YouTube to be able to download and install it. It's very easy. Not going to go into that, but when you've got it installed, you're just going to open up the program. I'm going to do the same right here. Okay, so when you open the program, come on, just give it a few seconds. There we go. So when the program opens, we're going to, you can change the options and all that if you want to, but I'm not going to go to that. We're just going to go right into open a level. You can press O or you can click this button here with your mouse. I'm just going to click the button. And it's going to take you to your Minecraft saves folder. You can also navigate to this. Again, search on Google if you don't know where it is. It's a really complicated location, but it should open it by itself. You're going to find the world where you have your 3D printer made. I have it in my redstone tutorials. And op click on the level.dat inside of the folder. Click open. Takes a few seconds, and as you can see, we're right inside of the world. You can actually see that's where I was the last time I exited the world, so you can see where that location is. But as you can see, we have the creation here in my Redstone Tutorials world. You can see all the other stuff over there. So, what we can do is we need to copy this memory here into nine, a total of nine towers in three, in groups of three. So it's very simple how you do this. You s just select, and see I can move my mouse around. We have this little box here. I'm going to click here and drag. You can click the um, right mouse button, hold that down, then you can move around by using the WASD keys. So I'm going to go over here and move my selection to that. You know, I kind of have everything selected, but as you can see up here, I'm still missing a torch. I'm missing some blocks. So I want to pull it up. Just click and drag on the top there. So you can pull it up and down. I do the same on this. If I select that side right here, I can click and drag. But I just need to get it over these torches. Uh, to the side here, that looks pretty good. We want to make sure that everything is inside of this box. So we want to take it down. Now we can decide if you want to have these two blocks, these two brown blocks here with us as well. I'm just going to take those. I'm going to bring it down one more. Now it's going to copy all the stone and those blocks. So yeah, this looks pretty good. It looks like we have everything selected here. So now we're going to get ourselves into a nice viewing position. We're going to click the clone button. You click that, you can see everything turns kind of green over here, but nothing's really happened. Because it's because the clone is right now in the same position as the original we copied it from. So we want to get over to these here, and you can use the mouse wheel to adjust. You can see now there's something moving there. That's our clone. That's what we're cloning. So we want to find the one that takes it over to the side, the one that brings it over in that direction. So I think it's this one. Yeah, we can scroll down and bring this over. So we want to get this three blocks away. So that's one, two, three. Just so we have a little... Uh, room between the two to get all the wiring to work. So you bring it to the edge of this thing and you just go one, two, three. So minus seven. Then we can use the repeat feature to do this one more time. You see a, a box here appears where that's going to be placed. You can't see it, but it's going to be placed there when I click this clone button. Uh, these two would be checked We, if we want to copy some air or water. We don't want to do that because that's not really necessary. So we have this right here. We want to copy those two. Looks good, so we're going to hit the clone button. Takes a few seconds, and boom. Now we have the two things cloned. So now we have the first group of our memory towers. And it looks pretty good. So now we want to try and connect these things. So there's going to be three blocks between here. So I'm going to take three of these brown ones. Remember to get the redstone. The redstone actually uses this block up here, even though it looks empty. So we want to get all of those. Click clone. Now we can move it over. Click the clone button. Now we can do this again. Click clone and move it over. Clone. So now that has been cloned. I'll just get the selection away. So we have that cloned now, but as we can also see, we're missing some stuff down here at the bottom. We're going to take care of that in a second. First, we want to make something to separate our tower groups. This is one group. This represents one of these lines here, this is going to represent the first line up here, so the next group of towers is going to be this down here. 
But so it's easier to look at when we try and fly over our creation and see what the hell is going on. We're going to make a little glass pane that's going to go across like so. So I think if we take it to about there, starting from about here, we can then bring it up to a little bit higher than the towers themselves. We don't need the stone down here to be changed into glass, so we just move it up. See, now it starts from the bottom here. That's good. Uh, how far is it above? We can just take it one more above. Ah, this looks good. So now when you have this here, in order to fill this with glass, we're going to go to the Fill and Replace button, like the bucket that's, bucket that's dropping something. So click on this button. Now this window is going to pop up. We can either try and search for it by scrolling with the wheel or clicking these buttons. As you can see, when we click on this, you can see our selection here. We're going to look at subtypes and stuff like that. But to make it easier, we can just click on the search thing up here and just type glass. So then it pops up. Uh, we want glass, not the glass pane, but glass, a solid block. So we're going to click on that. You can see it's selected. We click OK. And then we click the fill button, or we can just press enter. It takes a few seconds, and there we go. So now that has been filled with glass. So what we're going to do now is we want to copy this group of towers. So we're going to try and select or we need to select everything. So make sure this everything is inside of the selection. There. And we need to bring it down to here. So everything inside of the selection or the entire three towers has been selected. That looks good. We're going to clone this again and use the mouse wheel to move the clone over. Just going to have it one block away from this wall here. So this looks all good. I'm going to hit clone. Take a few seconds. There we go. Now we want to get this little piece here connected again. It doesn't matter that we actually clone into blocks that are already existing and it's just going to replace them. But since it's the same, it doesn't matter. So click clone. Okay, so now when we got that, we need to get our glass pane again. Or we can actually, if we're a little smart here, let me see if I can do this correctly. We bring our copy thing, or we take our selection, and select everything, including the glass pane. So remember, we need to also have the glass pane inside of our selection. Let me bring this down, one below that. Okay, I think we have everything selected. Now we're going to click Clone. We can move the entire thing over. Get it one block away from there. And there we go. Now we have that cloned. So that's the last of the memory tower group thingy. I'm just going to connect this last line. So there we go. Let me just get the selection away. So now we have our tower groups right here. Three groups, nine towers in total. There's one thing we're missing, and that is having these red, yellow, and green lines here connected. There's nothing connecting the redstone right now. So, in order to do that, we want to select some of these blocks. Select a few of them, doesn't matter how many. We're just going to cop clone them. So just select a few. I'm going to hit the clone button, and then bring it forward. Just gonna bring forward like that, and then we can increase the repeat amount until you can see these green boxes go all the way up to the end. So this looks good. It's gonna go right up to the end of there. That those blocks are already there, so we don't have to place them. But as you can see, green box goes all the way across here. That's what we want. So that looks very good. We're gonna hit the clone button. A few seconds, and there we go. So now we have all of that selected, or all of the bottom thing there cloned. Now what we want to do is we want to get the redstone up on here. So we can just try and select these two at first. Hit clone. And you just place that forward a little bit. Clone. And now we're going to take this two forwards. There's going to be something in between here as you can see this let me just get closer. This right here is going to be in between these two. So we leave a tiny bit of room and we can just repeat that clone. There we go. So now let's get this here selected. Just selecting the redstone. There's no need to get the blocks. So get that over there. She's down right below there. It looks good. So we're going to clone. 
and move it over here, hit clone. So now if we select all of these, we're then able to clone this all the way over here and use the repeat function to clone it to all of these spaces in between. So there we go. Now we can hit clone again. Take a few seconds. And there we go. Now we have the redstone going all the way over there. So that should actually be it. Now we should have some nice functioning memory. Uh, how we, we can just try and go in and test it. Ah, wait. We can actually... We cannot test it yet because we don't have this connected. But I'm going to Minecraft anyway. I need to show you this ending thing. You need to... When you've done copying everything, you want to do something down below or something over there, I don't know. When you're done using MC Edit, you click click and hold the control button, and then this menu pops up. This is the menu for the program. You can then just tap on S in order to save, or you can just click the save button. I'm just going to click the save button right here. Since it takes some time, depending on how much you did, and there we go. Now it's been saved. So we can click control again, click quit. So there we go. Let's open up Minecraft. Give it a little bit of time. Should just minimize that. I'm gonna get it running. There we go. Let's get a full screen. So I'm gonna go into the Redstone tutorials. And as you can see, we now have our our changes that we did inside of MC Edit in the world. There's actually one thing here that it changed by itself. You can see there was actually glass going over here, but it's been removed because we copied something into that place. So that's very good. Yet it's a very nice program. So everything looks pretty good. We sadly can't test our saving feature because we haven't connected all of the buttons here yet. So we can't test that. But if you want to try that by yourself, it's going to be in the next tutorial, but if you want to try that by yourself, all you need to do is just connect the next button in line that's not connected. So that is this one here, the top middle. You want to go and connect that to the next tower. So the next tower would be this one. This is not connected to anything. So you need to take the next line, which is here. We just remove a tiny bit of blocks, because we need to get it up here. So if we do like so, we should be able to... Oh, uh, wait, it's actually here. No, let's just have it like that. So we're going to do like this to get the redstone up here. I'm just going to do like this to make it look pretty. And it doesn't quite work. So there we go, another redstone's connected. Um, I think I'm going to place it there instead. So there we go, now we have that button connected. So what you would then do is you would take the next one and connect that as well. All this redstone behind here is pretty useless now. There's no need for that to be there. You can even remove that in MC Edit or something, I don't know. So when you have that connected, you need to go to the next one, which is here. Connect the next button in line. So the next one that's not connected is this one. You would connect that to up there. And do the same thing for all of the memory towers until everything is connected. And then when you've done that, you can... I'm just going to go into my printer here that I showcased. When you've done that, you can then try and test your memory. I actually need to reset it real quick. Let's make sure everything's good. Okay. And then you can try and test your memory by doing some kind of shape. Let's just say I want to do this shape here. We then go over to the save display to bit. We're going to save to the first bit. So we then saved it. We can go over here and look on our RS nor latches. Because then some specific ones need to be flipped. And some others we don't want to be flipped. Uh, let me just get this thing building. So all of the three towers in the first group need to be on. Those memory gates need to be on. But for the second group, the middle one needs to be off. So let's go check that. Go over here. Here we have the second group. So for red, which was the first bit, the middle one should be off. You can see it is. So that's how you can test your memory once you've connected all that stuff. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can figure out how to build this thing. It's pretty complicated. So stay tuned for the next tutorial. 
and I'll see you all later.